be there. The tractor's going to move. Once these blocks are in position, then I'll move the tractor with the, the shed and we'll move it over the top of the blocks and lower it gently down. Uh, an inch and a half out of bolt. To be yeah. able to go okay. to the top front of the bottom block. Lined up to pull us out. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. Want to check level? Yeah. yeah. That's good as mochi. Uh -huh. <laughs> action and mochi. <laughs> Alright, let's check level again. Check and see if that's 87 first, and then we'll measure the diagonal. Oops, I'm down. Yeah, that's how it starts. <laughs> Whoops. Right. So you're going to run the water up to your greenhouse or where? Greenhouse, fields, harvest station, and horse paddock. All right. It's looking really good. Fortunately, the ground's wet enough to where it's not a huge concern. Right. But do you have pipe all ready to go? I just got my irrigation supplies in. Just I just dropped them off. I came in yesterday. Oh, okay. So I've got one inch to take her all the way to the top, and then three quarter for a subheader, and then ultimately it's going to be all drip taped in the field. Nice. Cool. There'll be a hose with the horses. How much water have you had to haul uh, by hand? <laughs> I've done a 50 gallon drum probably on average every other day for the last two months. So. <laughs> Does that qualify well, as that's work? Good. That qualifies as <laughs> the chore within the chore. <laughs> that's good. Well, it's like, I know, it's like as if the spring body isn't already taking effect. It's like, oh. 15, 1,500 gallons of water. Is that what that is? It's like 400 pounds per 50, yeah. It's eight 50. pounds a gallon yeah. of water weighs, so a five pound bucket's 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. I just want to be able to go to that garden hose and push that little gardena <laughs> sprayer. It's going to be like, straight it all over the place, saying it's sprinklers and slip and slides. <laughs> water! The, it'll be both direct pump and then the batteries will hold enough to where if it's not totally sunny enough, I can still get some draw. We considered pumping it up to a catchment tank, but there's not enough head. The rise over run is so minimal mm -hmm. that we would have had to build like a 25 foot tower and Probably. trying to engineer that and get materials together for that. Yeah. Just like forget it. So, and I actually got a donation that covered this whole part of the project. Somebody in the community wrote me a check for $5,000 so I could do this. So that's what ultimately made it possible, which is incredible. That is wonderful. Yeah, and then incredible. There's some amazing, um, there's amazing people all over. There's some amazing people here. There's somebody who knows this, the work that I've done here the last handful of years, and they're like, what do you need? And I was like, well, <laughs> I need a solar array. <laughs> Get the water pretty much every day in here? Yeah, multiple times a day. She is warm. Probably about four times a day right now. And I like to leave things pretty moist in the evening. I hauled water for two and a half months. Easily. Never do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to get this corn transplanted next week. That may happen. Thank you.